How's it going, fight fans? This is Spaniard, Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here at Fight Night 13. I'm here with Mathers MMA and the Bear. He was named by the Bear by his opponent, Rico. It was an unbelievable fight. Fight to the decision. Ended in a little bit of controversy. Scotty was awarded. Mr. Parker was awarded the win. Then afterwards, there was a little bit of problem with the judges and what was judged and where it was judged. Talk about the fight first, and then afterwards, the, some of the stuff that happened afterwards and how you feel about that. Uh, the fight was good, had a lot of fun, uh, he was a great opponent, uh, got a lot of skills, uh, showed me a lot of what I needed to work on. Now uh, talk about your coach, your training, and what prepared you for this fight. Uh, we do a lot of all-around training, a lot of uh, Muay Thai, uh, showed me that I, you know, tonight I showed that I need to work on some ground game, uh, but conditioning felt good, uh, strength and power all felt good. Now, Coach, talk about your boy, your fighter tonight, what you thought about him competing tonight. Um, I was pretty comfortable about him fighting. He has, uh, he has good striking capabilities. Uh, you know, his Muay Thai is right where it needs to be. Um, you know, so I, I really wasn't concerned too much about uh, his ground game at this point. We were trying to keep him a little bit at the end of his uh, punches and his kicks. Um, you know, and he did end up going to the ground a couple of times, and uh, so that's basically what we're going to focus on the next next part of our game plan. Now, the fight afterwards, they came back. They said that the judges actually scored it for Rico, but they wrote it on the final card wrong. Talk about what that's like. Talk about what's next. Well, my opinion on that whole thing is basically. Uh, if there was a discrepancy in the judge's uh, opinion or how it was written, then, then in, during the match and at, while we're in the ring, then they should have stepped forward and said, hey, look, because the judge isn't an idiot, he knows what he scored. Every single one of the judges know what they scored. It's only two numbers for each person to decide. So he should have came, came into the ring and said, hey, look, that's a mistake, Trent. You made a mistake. Not come ten minutes later to us and say, hey, we need to come back in the ring. There's a discrepancy of the card. Correct. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? Uh, same way. I mean, uh, if they would have read the decision in the ring, going for Rico, you know, would have accepted it. They read it for me. Uh, you know, we all cheered. We had a good, you know, we were all glad. Uh, you know, as far as it goes, it's out of my hands. That's not, I don't have any opinion really, it's just they should make it one decision and that should be the final one. Well, it's unfortunate that a, a good fight like that, that I mean honestly in my opinion had Fight of the Night written all over it, um, you guys did really well in there. Um, you got any thoughts on maybe a rematch? Sure, you know, that's that's where it has to go from here. If, if, it's, if there's going to be a discrepancy over the decision, then that's going to have to go to a rematch. Awesome. Well, hey, anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my family, my coach, my whole team, and everybody here tonight. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the interview.